Yo, what's up, YouTube? Got the new phone today, the Nexus S4G. Um, it's not really a new phone, but it's pretty. It's new to me. Um, it has stock ice cream sandwich, but you probably, if you want to unlock the bootloader, so you can use Clockwork Mod Recovery, that would be very. That would be the way to do it. So, first thing we're gonna need to unlock the bootloader on the Nexus S4G is a series of files on your C disk. I'm going to upload these files and link you to the download. Then you're going to need the drivers for the Nexus. Um, I had a really hard time finding the drivers, so what you do is download a program called PDA Net. Um, during the installation process, it installs Samsung drivers. By You select Samsung and it installs the drivers. And those are the only drivers that have worked. Uh, all the other drivers on um, different websites partially worked or not. You know, I haven't been, it, it's, on, this is the one, these are the ones that work. So this is the route, hopefully it will work for you. If you have Windows 7 and want to unlock the boot, bootloader on the Nexus S4G, Okay, so the, we installed the drivers from PDA Net. Uh, just Google PDA Net. Uh, it's the top one. It's Android, some weird Android router program. Just install it, and it'll give you your drivers. Uh, go down to the Windows Start. After uh, restart your computer, go type CMD. It'll bring up this window. And then the first thing you're going to type is CD, and I have my files uh, located under root, so it's C, it's, uh, this command right here, which brings us to this as a blank. And then you type fastboot OEM unlock. And it brings you to a screen on your phone. It says yes or no, and you click yes. You don't have to copy and paste any codes like you do on HTC phones or on Motorola phones it's you just basically just need to make sure you have the drivers and those files the ADB files and fastboot files in place so um, hopefully it's successful ask questions um, yeah hopefully it worked